my students never really saw the teaks before, but they see them daily now. And I see them more than I've ever seen them before. So they track where they are and what teak that they have mastered, and they are actually seeing that they are understanding and learning a lot throughout the year. I continue with my best practices. I facilitate, I differentiate, I assess constantly. I'm always making sure that they are understanding because mastery is what it's all about. I scaffold in my class by using the rubric, the different levels, and I also on the pre-assessment is leveled. And then I do DIYs that have different levels. And then um, on those DIYs, I also make different types of things for them to do. Not just a worksheet. They have some matching. They have some writing on a dry erase. They have watching videos. I list out different links, and it kind of tells what exactly is on, in that link. They go there. And I also have the textbooks that they go to. And if they don't understand what it says on the rubric for that standard, they go over and they look at the DIY or they request a workshop. And, and then I go back summer. whenever I research it and I put what I researched it and what kind of research I did, if I learned it from team learning, a workshop, or a DIY. And then when I'm ready and I think I have it down, I can take my progress check and then I write down what I made on my progress check versus what I made on the predecessor. But I have learned to let them um, work at their own pace, but I also have deadlines. I keep up with students learning by doing progress checks that are leveled. So then once I have their progress check done, I look at the teak the specific teak, and if they did well on it, then they get to move on. If they didn't, then they have to come and see me. If I notice that someone missed a lot of questions, I pull them up separately than someone who missed just a few. I still want to meet with those who only missed a few. We want to move everything away so that only Y is on the left hand side. So what do we need to move first? We need to keep this here. Minus 10x, because we need to get YX. I do the interactive notebooks. Um, it was hard to give up that control of each page number has to be the exact same. But what I do instead is on their I plan and their rubric, it has the TEKS, the standards. And then if they do research and learning, they put it here. And they also put the date and the page number that matches. And then on their rubric, they also put the page number so it shows each of the levels. And so that keeps track of if they've done it and where they've done it at. The second semester, I focused more on the soft skills. So I wanted to keep that more on their mind. So I did a paper that has communication and autonomy on it. And every day, they rank themselves 1 to 10 and then write how they felt that they did on that. And as I'm walking around and monitoring and facilitating, I make sure that they keep that on their mind. Grouping has been really good this year because if they don't like somebody, then I make them work with them anyway. And they, they keep each other on track because if one person's playing around, everyone's going to be responsible for that. I would recommend to other math teachers is to just get on the website, see what is there, see if you can tweak some of those projects or even use them like they are. There are some great resources there and um, don't be afraid.